I usually say self-care is critical because if you're not taking care of yourself, you will not be available to take care of others. So self-care is very important. Now, when you go to sleep at night, you're sleeping for a long time, your body is doing its healing work. When you get up in the morning, it's important for your body to have the fuel it needs. If your body doesn't have the fuel it needs, then your body would not be able to function at optimum. So it's imperative that you make sure that you get a nice, healthy breakfast. Let us talk a little bit about the benefits of our breakfast. All right. So what are the benefits of a healthy breakfast? And by the way, we are talking about a healthy plant-based whole food breakfast. When we look at Genesis 129, the creator gave us the map, the roadmap of how we should eat. And so I don't have that slide here, but when you get a chance, read Genesis 129, just the fruits, the herb, the vegetables, and so forth, nuts, and so forth. Now, why eat a healthy breakfast? It supports your immune system. Your body was at rest, so your body needs fuel. Your body needs to be functioning well. So it supports your immune system. Plants have what we call essential nutrients that you cannot get from other foods. So you get your phytochemicals, your antioxidants, et cetera. Plants give your body what you need to fight off infection. That is so very important. Now also, a healthy immune system is, is important for the reduction of cancer and other chronic diseases. Now we do know for a fact that the base of all diseases is what we call inflammation. So when you eat a fiber-rich, plant-based, lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet, it helps to keep inflammation just at bay. Because these plant-rich foods are filled, as I said before, with phytochemicals, antioxidant that boosts your immune system, neutralize toxin, and even help with pollution that might be in the atmosphere. Antioxidants in plants grab all the so-called free radicals that can throw your body off balance. This is what one specialist said. To reduce inflammation, it's important to eat plant-based and to listen to your body's signal on how food works for you. You know, the, the um, profound philosopher, Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine your food. And he was so right. If we eat the way God intended for us to eat, then our lives will be prolonged. We know the people in the blue zone, when we look at the way they eat, they eat plant-based whole food. And if you power up your body at the beginning of the day with whole food, plant-based, good things for your body, then you would have a better quality of life and a better outlook on life because it also would help the way you think and the way you feel. Now, we do know for a fact that your gut is literally your second brain. So we have to be mindful of our gut health. We have to be mindful of the number of bad bacteria that might be multiplying in our gut which would cause our digestion to be slowed. It may cause lots of other chronic diseases. So taking care of your gut health, making sure you're eating the right kinds of food, right things with the, the adequate amount of fiber, adequate amount of protein, complex carbohydrates, et cetera. These are all very important to help your body function at optimum. Then, we need to protect our arteries. We know for a fact that if you eat, eat a healthy breakfast, you're lowering your risk of arteriosclerosis. That is the hardening of your arteries, that um, you're helping your body to resist the plaque that might be built up. You're helping your body to have good circulation. I'm glad Vanessa talked about exercise. That, in addition to eating well, is your roadmap to health and longevity. 
So I would challenge every one of us. Some of us are very busy, but we can do some pre-preparation so as to make sure our bodies are getting the fuel it needs first thing in the morning. So today we will make two simple recipes. We'll make overnight oats. And I know Guyana is filled with all kinds of fruits so we can put mangoes, we can put bananas in it. And we are going to go to the kitchen in a little while and talk about how to make these two simple breakfast recipes. Now, what do we need? We need oats. Now, if you don't have steel cut oats, Quaker oats will work on sweetened plant milk and you don't have to find any sophisticated thing, you can take your um, cashews or your um, almonds and you make your own milk. Just put it in a blender with some water, add a little bit of cinnamon and here, voila, you have your plant-based milk. You can use one tablespoon of chopped dates, you can use raisin or you can use dry fruits, a cup of mango, a cup of banana. That's basically what you need for your overnight oats. And we're gonna go through that in the kitchen just a minute. The second thing we are gonna make is chia pudding. Chia is known as one of those superfoods. When I get to the kitchen, I'm gonna go through with you all the benefits that you can derive from eating this kind of food. What you need for this is your chia seed. You can make your milk, use some coconut flakes, and we call it coconut flakes here, but it's actually grated coconut. That's what it really is. You can use your own type of sweetener, some honey. We have agave nectar, that is just fancy, fancy language, but you can use your own dried fruit. Use a little bit of vanilla extract, put some raisins in there if you want to. Now, it's important for people who are diabetic, you'll want to cancel the raisins out. You would want to use your cherries, your mangoes, your pineapple, but in limited quantity especially fruits that have a lot of fructose, you wanna be very judicious in the way you use it. If you're going, you can also put um, bananas in this. If you're gonna put banana, you would want to take half of the banana instead of the whole banana. You can put a pinch of salt. If you would like to serve it with granola, you can feel free to do so. So these are two simple recipes that we are gonna try. Are you ready? Now let's go to the kitchen. So welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to make overnight oats. In my bowl, I have my oats ready. And all I would do, I would add my plant-based milk. I've already made this. Now I have a little device that I make my milk with, but you can use your regular blender. Just soak your cashews overnight, wash it out, put it in your blender and add um, eight ounces of water. You can add a little bit of vanilla if you care to. And voila, you have your plant milk. So what we're going to do, we have our overnight oats here. We're just going to pour our milk in here. That's our plant-based milk. And all we are doing is stirring this around. Now, the question you may be asking me why we are not cooking this oats. Well, I am about to tell you. Now, why are we using oats first thing in the morning? Here are some benefits. Oats would be oats are very good because it helps you to lose weight. It is rich in antioxidant. It lowers your cholesterol. It stabilizes your blood sugar. It boosts your immune system. It gives you a lot of energy and it's full of fiber. So that is why we are going to use oats because we want to power up our body for the day's activity. Now, we added our milk and you notice it's starting to get soft. We do not have to cook this. Remember, it is called overnight oats. So you're soaking the oats with the plant milk. And to this, we are gonna add our mangoes. Guyana has a lot of sweet mangoes. So we're gonna add our mangoes. Now, let me tell you about mangoes. Mangoes is a super fruit. Mango is fat free. It has 20 different vitamins and minerals. It is low carb. So mangoes are very good. It has vitamin C and it has a lot of great benefits, very rich in antioxidants. When you see color in terms of when you're dealing with your food, you know you're dealing with antioxidants, right? Okay, so we add our mangoes. To this, we are going to add some strawberries. And strawberry is another very great fruit. 
Now it's good for arthritis. It is also good for osteoarthritis. It prevents a stroke. It relieves symptoms of allergy. Take note of that. It builds up your immune system. These are just a few benefits of strawberries and mangoes. Now I am allergic to bananas, so I did not put the banana. If you're going to do overnight oats, you do not want to put the banana ahead of time when you're getting ready to serve it, then you can put your banana. Why? Because the banana would oxidize and become black or brown, right? So you will do that when you're ready to eat. So here we have it, our oats all blended up. And all you have to do to this is to put the saran wrap and cover it, place it in your refrigerator. Next morning, you're ready to go. You just place it in your bowl. And you have a real nice, healthy breakfast. Now, some people who are gluten-free, I want you to know that oats come gluten-free as well. So think about that. So here we have it, our bowl of oats, overnight oats, very, very simple. Now, if you wanna do this and um, have several Ziploc bags, you can portion it out for the week because this will keep in your refrigerator for actually five days, five days. So you can make your little baggies and just put them in the refrigerator and every morning you take out one. So very simple overnight oats. You can put your favorite fruits in there and you're good to go. Is that simple enough, Lanny's? Very. Okay, so that's our overnight oats. Now we come to chia. Now, I like to use chia. Now, I wanted you to see the chia that I'm using. It is actually organic chia because I believe when you use the organic one, you get a lot more benefits. Now, what are some of the benefits of chia? I usually describe chia as a superfood. It is very good for your digestion. It helps to stabilize your blood sugar for people who are diabetic. It helps with cardiovascular health. It makes your heart stronger. It helps with your proper circulation. It increases your energy and it is rich in proteins. Did you know that chia is also good for your bones? And by the way, we just talked about depression. Chia seed is known to boost your mood as well. It is full of antioxidants. And as I said before, it's good for your bones. So how do we make this chia pudding? Very, very simple. But before I start making it, let me tell you about two other things that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put pineapples. Guyana has a lot of sweet pineapples. So I'm going to put some pineapples in there and I'm going to put papaya. You can put whatever fruit you choose. Now, why I chose those two is because papaya, um, not papaya, but the, the pineapple is rich in bromelain. It very good. It has very good enzymes that help with your digestion, that converts your protein into amino acids and so forth. It is anti-inflammatory and it enhances your immunity. So pineapple is really, really great for your health. Then I chose papaya because as you look at the color, right away you think antioxidant. So here is my bowl of my papaya ready to go. And papaya is good to help you manage weight. So if you're thinking of losing weight, very good. It enhances your digestion. It's rich in fiber. It fights off infection. It helps to prevent cancer, just to name a few. It enhances your skin. If you want nice, smooth, healthy skin, it is very good for your vision. You know, we like to say carrots are good for your vision, but guess what? Papaya is also good because it has beta carotene. So all of these things are very beneficial. So when you're selecting your breakfast, be intentional because you wanna fuel up your body for the day's activity. Do not skip your breakfast. If you want to miss another meal, I don't have a problem with that, but breakfast is a must. So to make this, we just take our chia and I'm going to place it in this little cup, right? 
And to this, I am going to add my plant-based milk again. Now you notice this is cook-free. So we are not cooking. And then I have natural vanilla. This is actually almond vanilla. And I'm just going to put one little drop in there. And then I'm going to add my cinnamon to this. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to stir this around. Now, as you start stirring it around, this chia starts to expand and pretty soon it becomes very thick. So I'm gonna keep on stirring it for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add some of my pineapple. And then I'm gonna add some of my papaya. I wish you were here to smell this because the vanilla makes it smell so good. So actually, this is good and ready to go. You can sit it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. And let me just say this, if you're going to sit something in the refrigerator and it's cold, do not eat it right away because your body has to warm it up before it digests, um, the digestion takes place. So it's better if you have it in the refrigerator overnight, put it on the counter for maybe an hour or so, so that it is at room temperature when it gets into your body. So voila, here we have it, our chia pudding. This is going to start getting very thick as you leave it in the refrigerator. And pretty soon, you're going to be able to eat it with a spoon, right? Just as you eat your overnight oats with a spoon, right? You'll be able to eat your chia pudding with a spoon. Nice and simple, but very, very nutritious to power up your body. All the recipes were sent already so you can you can try it. remember a recipe is never set in stone you can tweak it the way you think it's best for you right but remember eat for optimal health remember to eat your breakfast every day to power up your body for all the possibilities and opportunities that God will give you in every single day. Remember third John 2, beloved, I wish, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Thanks so much for the opportunity of sharing with you. God bless you, stay healthy, stay well.